Hi guys. Today we've got a propagation video. I'm going to show you how I'm going to propagate this uh, little succulent I've got. And I've got a little update on an amaryllis. The amaryllis that I showed you in the last garden video. Sorry about the cars. And um, just a couple of the other things that I showed you in my last garden video. So let's go. All right. So first, I'll do the update on this guy. This is my amaryllis. I believe it was nine days ago, nine or ten days ago, that uh, I posted the first video about this guy. The, um, I don't know. Okay, you see where it just starts to um, turn, like the red tip right there? Just this little piece, just from here to here. That was just sticking up out of here. Um, the first uh, video that I did, I believe, or maybe that was the first picture. Okay, hang on. I'm sorry. Um, I'll show you the picture. Hang on one second. Here's the picture of uh, when it was the size of my nail glue bottle, and then. This is literally one day later. And then this is what it looks like now. I cannot believe the amount of growth I've got from this guy in just nine to ten days. It's amazing. I cannot wait until he starts to bloom. You can see right here he's kind of... He's starting to split open. He'll be coming up and soon. He'll be blooming soon. So that's my update for the amaryllis. Amazing. Hi. Simply amazing. This is the guy that I'm propagating today. I cannot... Right there, you see, uh, right there in the center of those three leaves, you can clearly see that there was something that was cut off of it. I don't know the specific type of plant this is, which is why I want to propagate it. So I can't say that it was, um, like, I can't specifically say, um, you know, yes, it was a rosette. Or, I mean, just a cluster of leaves. I don't know what it was, but that's why I cannot identify this plant. So, I figured I'll just propagate the leaves and grow some new ones, hopefully. And it's usually really easy to propagate succulents, yeah. most types of succulents. So, I should have some success rate. So, I'll show you how we'll do that. All right. So, when you want to propagate a succulent, you're going to start off by removing the, um, most of the time, their rosette shape. So, you're just going to start off by removing that, the top part of your plant. Mine was gone before I got it. <laughs> so, that's already done for me. So then the second thing you want to do is remove your leaves. You're going to remove your leaves by very, very gently wiggling your leaves back and forth. You want to get a clean break. If you don't get a clean break, you more than likely will not get um, roots. And there's our perfect break. That's a really good break. Okay, so then we just throw this on our little leaf pile and continue to break the leaves off. So I'll get these guys off and then I'll be right back.
Okay, so here is what we have left. Just the stem. So, if, if you've got a healthy stem left over, you know, a good, uh, a good healthy stem that's, you know, still alive, you can cut it right above the soil and it should start to sprout new babies. So let me get my scissors and then I can do that. Okay. So let's I want to get a straight cut. I don't Oh heck, I don't know. I can't Okay. There we go. And I don't know, I doubt very highly if you can see, but it's right above another node. So if it's healthy enough, it might grow roots, might start to uh, sprout off more little babies. Okay, so now that we've got all of our leaves, we want to just keep these in the container for one to three days. Let them callus over. What that means is, let me see if I can tell the difference. And the ones that I did last night to the ones that I just did. So let me try to look. I know that's one I just did. And I know that is. And I know that is. And that one is. That one I believe is one I just did. This one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that these are the five that I did last night. And then these are the ones that I did today. So let me see. All right, you can kind of tell already. And this is just from overnight. The... When it calluses, the uh, where you broke it at, it will yeah. kind of, um, it's kind of like a scab over the wound. Yeah. And that takes about one to three days. Yeah. And then after your, after the wounds have calloused over, what you want to do is take your leaves and get some good soil. And then you're going to set your leaves on top of your soil. Just go all the way around. I mean, you don't have to put them in any type of shape or any certain order. This is just how I'm doing it right now. And obviously mine are not calloused over yet so I'm not going to water them but once they have calloused over all you want to do is just take um, a spray bottle with some room temperature water and lightly mist your soil you don't want it soaked and you want to make sure that your that the wounds are completely dried, completely calloused over before you put them onto your soil and start watering them to try to root them. Because if they are still kind of opened, there is a higher chance of them absorbing too much moisture and rotting. So as long as they're completely calloused over, 
before you put them in your soil. It should definitely work for you. Most succulents are very, very easy to propagate. Okay, so that's my little video. There are a few things that I did forget to mention. Um, after you've got your after you've got your leaves starting to propagate, um, laid on your soil, um, they'll start to root once your leaves start looking for water. So, and that can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to a couple of months. It all depends on the type of succulent you have and, I mean, just your climate and everything like that. So, just be patient. Be very, very patient. Succulents are amazing plants. I'm, I mean, I'm just starting to get into them, but I've done a lot of research in, you know, six, seven, or eight months, and I really am starting to really love succulents. I'm going to be ordering some soon, and it cannot wait. So, Thanks for watching. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching us on Facebook, like it. <laughs> and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And um, also, if anybody watching this knows the name of, um, or, well, might maybe know the name of the succulent that I propagated today, please, please, please let me know. From pictures and things that I've seen and things that I've researched, it kind of looks like um, the ghost plant. Um, what is it called? The scientific name? Grap Grapta Graptopatellum um, paraguayans. That's it. But I'm not sure because, like I said, um, before my husband had bought it, the, uh, well, when he bought it, the, the top was already removed off of it. So, hopefully, I'll be able to propagate and uh, nine new plants just off of one. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.